my friends, is my very first favorites video of 2015. Let's do this thing. I've been using the Clear Scalp and Hair Active Damage Resist Shampoo and Conditioner as it falls. <laughs> Aside from the fact that I can't hold these in my hands, these work really well in my hair and I love how they smell. That's pretty much it. I've been using a new body butter at nighttime. This one is from Kiehl's and it's their Lavender Whipped Body Butter. This says it's limited edition, so I'm not sure how readily available it is. I've used their original whipped body butter, which I really loved, and I like how this has lavender infused into it, so when I use it at night, it just helps me relax. Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid Foundation. And this is a lot like the Chanel Vita Lumier Foundation. It's similar in consistency, so you have to shake the bottle. It has that similar sound to it. It's very watery, but this leaves a matte finish on your face. So this is really, really awesome if you have oily skin, if you wanna help control shine, but you want a finish that looks really natural. I got this concealer because Tanya recommended it. I have super dry under eyes and I get really frustrated with concealers so I asked her about any kind of moisturizing or hydrating concealers that she knew of that provided pretty good coverage. Tanya recommended Max Moisture Color and I really love this. I wear the shade NW15 and it has a doe foot applicator so it's really easy to apply. It doesn't dry out my eye area and it's still thin enough so it doesn't look super thick and cakey around my eyes. Thank you Tanya! You are my savior. I will bow down to you now. And I shall come back up with my Hourglass Ambient Blush Palette. It has three of the ambient blushes in it, which I was super skeptical about. I was like, these are just a fad. I'm probably not gonna like them. They're gonna be glittery. Wrong! I really love them, but I didn't want to buy the full size. So I really loved how Sephora had this palette of three smaller sizes so I could try out different colors. I've been using this color on the far left and the middle one so I'll use these individually but today I actually mix the two together. I found a new EOS lip balm that I love. It is vanilla mint and I'm actually not a fan of the original sweet mint flavor but I love the vanilla mint because it kind of evens everything out. On my nails, I've been liking this color from Nails Inc, which is Porchester Square, and I believe, if I remember correctly, Este talking about this in one of her favorites videos, but I also could just be completely wrong there, and I just completely fabricated that memory that doesn't actually exist. Wearing it on my nails right now, just a really pretty, neutral, grayy color, love things like this, so just gonna put that down now. It is no secret that I love my Vans slip-ons, and I've kind of taken the Vans slip-ons to another level because I got the Vans high top sneakers, and these are amazing. This is fulfilling a childhood dream of mine because I always wanted these shoes, and I got the ones that are leather, and they have animal print on the inside. And I'm normally not like a huge animal print person, but I love how it's just hidden here on the inside. So it's like the secret that only I know about and now you do too because I'm showing you. Transparent, which is an Amazon original series, and you can just binge watch the entire first season for free if you have Amazon Prime. Basically, the series focuses on a family that is going through a bunch of different transitions. I love how all of the characters are flawed in their own ways. They all have secrets that they're hiding, they all have internal and external struggles, and there is not like a good guy and a bad guy. It's really focusing on the dynamic of this family and the changes that they're going through. I have always been somebody that really enjoys classical music and I have listened to it since I was a little girl just freely and openly and it was something that I was teased about a lot in school because a kid who is just very open about liking classical 
music is not necessarily, you know, the cool kid in school. It's something that I've been gravitating towards more this month, so I basically just turn on um, on my Apple TV, there's like a radio app and I just go there, click on classical music and let it play and I listen to it while I'm reading, while I'm cleaning, while I'm making dinner and I just find it very soothing and inspiring. Comparti's chocolate is my weakness. I cannot resist it, especially California Love. This is amazing high quality chocolate and if you are somebody that really, really loves chocolate and you wanna treat yourself or you wanna treat someone else, Comparte's is like the way to go. And my favorite is this one, which is dark chocolate and pretzels. Something that I really loved this past month was visiting a place in Ojai called Bart's Books, which is essentially an outdoor bookstore. Yes, it is as awesome as it sounds. It is such a special place. They actually have books that are on the outside of the store that are sold on an honor system, which I just find to be really different and it's almost like they are trusting humanity and in return people are not taking advantage of that and I just think that you know the community definitely values this little bookstore. My favorite article this month is out of Darling Magazine and this is issue number 10 and I read a lot of stuff online and offline. This article is kind of the one that stuck with me the most and it's called In One Place at one time and it basically focuses on the fear of missing out and how this is definitely something that is more prevalent especially with social media and being inundated with what other people are doing all the time or seemingly doing all the time. This is a very short article but it hits on so many things that are really important and why we feel this way and how we can work towards not feeling this way and I think it's just fascinating. It's definitely something that I think a lot of us can relate to. I have been reading and loving a book called Bad Feminist by Roxane Gay. This is a collection of essays and they all touch on various topics which I really love and that's why I've always loved the essay format because you can talk about something as a whole but you can really break things down into these different categories and sometimes when I read I'm just in the mood to read about something else and with an essay format you can be reading about one topic and then move on to let's say pop culture and I think that Roxane Gay does such an incredible job at just allowing minds to explore different possibilities and I think the title is also something that's very striking bad feminist and Roxanne describes herself as a bad feminist in short because she is flawed and she is human I actually bookmark a section in the book this is just something that I really connected to and I wanted to share it with you guys I learned a long time ago that life introduces young people to situations they are in no way prepared for for, even good girls, lucky girls who want for nothing. Sometimes when you least expect it, you become the girl in the woods. You lose your name because another one is forced on you. You think you are alone until you find books about girls like you. Salvation is certainly among the reasons I read. Reading and writing have always pulled me out of the darkest experiences of my life. Stories have given me a place in which to lose myself. They have allowed me to remember. They have allowed me to forget. They have allowed me to imagine different endings and better possible worlds. And I'm just gonna leave you guys with that because I think that that passage speaks for itself. I've been really, 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 really into Snapchat and if you guys want to follow me, you can follow me at Ingrid.Nelson. If you're interested in seeing the random stuff that I post, there you go. Another favorite that I'm really excited about is Vessel. If you don't know what Vessel is, it's basically this new platform where you can watch some of your favorite videos 
early before they would normally come out. That is pretty awesome because, I mean, if you really love watching something, how awesome would it be to be able to watch it early? This is actually my first video that is going up on Vessel, but it's currently in private beta testing right now. It's going to be officially launching in the next month or two, so everybody is going to have access to it, but it's really, really cool. I'm really pumped about this because I myself am excited to see videos early. We can all just be super fangirls together, which is amazing. So if you're curious about Vessel, I'll have their Twitter and Facebook down below for you guys so you can just see what it's about if you want to learn more. And in case you're wondering, it's not going to change anything on my YouTube channel. Things will still be posted on YouTube. They're just going to be posted a little bit earlier on Vessel. I was really inspired by one of my viewers, Kaylee Fascinella, who this month wrote an article talking about a skin issue that she has dealt with for her entire life. I was just so impressed by her courage and openness to come out and speak about something that had really just brought her down for so much of her life. Life throws things at people all the time and I was just especially touched by this story because it was coming from a viewer. Whenever somebody just candidly speaks about something that is meaningful to them and that is very personal, I respect that. And for her to come out and just be very open about the struggles that she's been through, hoping that it will help other girls and other women get through any kind of adversity that they are dealing with, that is what I really admire and something that is so inspiring to me. I think that is worth talking about. So if you guys want to check out the article she wrote, I'm going to have it linked down below for you. I think Kaylee's future is just so bright and it's made even brighter by her outlook on life. So just to kind of explain this part, I am going to be choosing a viewer of the month every month in my favorites. It's basically just like Creeper Ingrid looking at things that you guys post on the internet and picking things that really stick out to me and that I really love. The first viewer of the month for 2015 is Alicia Prasad. You can't really see it on my phone, so I will put a screenshot of it here. So Alicia drew me and then posted her drawing on Instagram. This wasn't something where she tagged me. I was just creeping and stalking and lurking and found it all on my own and I just really loved it. I thought that it was something that was really special and it made me smile and I wanted to share it. You never know when I'm gonna be lurking around the internet, so just saying. So you guys may have noticed that this favorites video is a little bit different from ones I've done in the past and that is because I have been going through this transitional phase in my life where I want to incorporate and talk about things that are meaningful to me at this point in my life. So in addition to just talking about different things, I also wanted to start a discussion at the end of my favorites videos and get you guys involved and really hear what you guys have to say. Because I know what I have to say and I know what I think, but I want to know what you guys think because you have a voice. So every month I'll be talking about something new that I have experienced, whether it's good or bad or just kind of neutral, and how I've dealt with that and will continue to deal with that. So this month the big thing for me has been just accepting that I am going through this transitional phase in my life and what is meaningful to me and what I really love right now at this point right now as I sit here may not necessarily be what is popular and I'm okay with that. I kind of took inspiration from my younger self because when I was young and I was a kid I did things because I loved them. I listened to a certain type of music because I loved it. And I think as you get older, there are definitely things that influence your decisions, whether it's an event or people or a person or yourself. And for me, it's just been accepting this transitional phase in my life where I am realizing that I like different things and that is okay. And that I am on this path where I am no longer a 
kid. I am smack dab in the middle of my 20s, which is a really weird time because you're like, I'm not a kid, but I kind of still feel like a kid, but I'm supposed to be an adult and am I supposed to have it all figured out right now? Like what the heck is going on? In short, it can just be a really strange time. Another thing that I have realized is the importance of being present and this is something that I am nowhere near mastering but it's something that I've tried to focus on a little bit more because I think reflection is very very important and thinking about the future is also important but when you are focused on other things other than the present all the time you lose the importance of what is happening right now in this moment and you aren't able to be grateful for what is happening right now. And even if something great isn't happening right now, even if today ends up being the worst day ever, I think there is value in giving that whatever it is, that event, the attention and the thought and the feelings and the emotions that it should have. It's just this weird balance that I'm still trying to figure out and I think there is so much value in reflection and thinking about the future but I think there is also a lot of value in appreciating the present moment. Now that you guys know how I've been feeling and the changes that I've been experiencing, I want to ask you a question. Do you think change is something that should be actively sought after and work towards or do you think it's something that should just come naturally? If you want to know my opinion on this, I think it's somewhere in the middle. I think actively seeking change is important because it allows you to seek growth and development and you're able to evolve as a person. And seeking change can alter the course of your life in a really great way. I think there are definitely instances where seeking change can get you out of situations that aren't so great and can make your life a lot better. I also think that natural change is important as well because sometimes things just happen and we don't see them coming, whether it's with an event or with ourselves. I feel like you don't want all change to be so forced and so planned because there is beauty in natural change. I think it's about finding a balance between following that natural progression but also being aware of your current state of being. So now I'm just gonna leave it open to you guys to tell me what you think and you can tell me in the comments, you can tell me on Twitter, but I really want to know what you have to say, what's in your head right now, and what you are thinking about as far as change goes. So let me know and I will definitely be reading what you guys have to say. So that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I am going to go eat some lunch now because my stomach is growling and it's like, feed me now Ingrid, stop talking, go put some food in your belly ASAP. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next vid. Peace out.